Okay guys, welcome to a brand new video. Um, I'm proud to be bringing this to you. Uh, this is one of the first connection tests that is actually functioning and actually connecting to the server. Um, I know I did a test like this one or two months ago, and that was with a very, uh, a very bad custom library that I wrote. Uh, and this one is using a much better library that allows us to connect from 1.10.2 all the way up to 1.12.2. Uh, which I felt was a much better feature set to have. Uh, so I've been porting that, uh, including porting OpenSSL and a bunch of other things. Um, so currently I'll just show you the setup. What I have is an old uh, wireless access point right here, which I am using for the connection test. Um, as you can see, we have this um, Ethernet cable. It's just running into the computer. It's actually not plugged into the internet port. It's actually just plugged into one of the... Uh, standard uh, LAN ports, uh, and that's where the server is running, so it's basically a LAN server. Um, obviously it's connected to my computer, which I'll turn on the server in a second, and we have the PlayStation Portable with the new version right here. So first things first, uh, we're going to start a server. So we're going to run the server jar, and while we wait for that to happen, um, we can also look at the PSP, and we can start the next version. So we'll start that up and let that load up. Now as you can see, the Minecraft server has started um, and it has completely loaded up. So everything is ready and prepared for us to uh, begin the connection. So over on the PSP here, we're going to first connect to the network, which is the test net. And then we want a username. So, let's go with, um, how about we go with like Rose or something. I'm trying to do this blind, which is not working very well. So here we go, We've connected, username is set to Rose. And then we're going to select the direct connect, which is right here. It doesn't show very well, and there's a lot of flare, so... Hello? Camera? Camera? Thank you, camera. And we're going to put in the IP address. So what I did was that I went over here, pulled up uh, my primary IP address, which is um, when I... Uh, on this network is 192.168.1.101 and I'm just going to use the uh, NAT address for now because it's just easier and besides I don't even have port forwarding so it wouldn't be effective it's also not connected to the internet so so it's 192.168.101 so obviously you can enter the IP address um, one of the things I want to do in the future is to be able to actually like resolve addresses. So um, if it's like a .com, .net sort of thing. Why did I choose that? Uh, one, one, one. Uh, so that if it's like a .com network or something like that, uh, you can actually connect to it and it will instead of having to track down the IP address for that. So 101. So now, here's a big moment, when we hit start, uh, what will happen is that we'll try to connect, and then we'll see over here that it will connect, and then um, the memory is going to go cr crazy, the uh, saving thing here is going to go crazy, uh, and that's just because I'm running logs of everything back to the PSP. Uh, you won't see that as much as the actual uh, game, so I'll hit start now. So Rose has joined the game. And we've gone crazy, completely crazy with the PSP right here. And the camera wants to focus on the reflection more than the PSP. That's cool. Uh, so I'm not displaying anything to the screen, not doing anything with that yet. I'm just doing this for the connection test. As you can see, it's showing the game. And that will be it for now. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys have a great weekend.